Today I want to talk about another way to make the most of your membership. And that way that I want to discuss right now is become a virtual provider. There's a few things to, to know to be able to set yourself up as a virtual provider. And the first one is how to do the intake either over the phone um, or through a questionnaire that you send your customer. You, will, you have to remember that you won't be meeting them face to face, probably not at all. So you need to be able to build a rapport initially in an initial phone con conversation with them and then have, the, have a way for them to pay you, pay, accept payments in advance only because you may have a customer that is in another state whose um, case or what they want to start or what they have to answer to happens to be in Florida. So if they don't pay you and you do all the documents, then it's usually not worthwhile to pursue payment and you've done a lot of work for nothing. So find a way to accept payments over the internet or even accept checks through the mail. Um, a lot of the a lot of people use PayPal. Um, there's other ways to accept payments on your website, and these are things like uh, Stripe, Square, um, Google Wallet, even. Um, so, so that's the first two things to consider: ex accepting your customer's information and also accepting their payment virtually, one way or another, without meeting them face to face. The third thing is to deliver the documents to them. How do you do it? Do you send it via mail, print and mail? That's how I worked for a long time until I discovered that it was more efficient for me to email them their documents once completed. It works fine. It's quick. People are fine with that most of the time. A uh, few people won't have a printer or will have some issue with um, not wanting to print the documents themselves, in which case I just print and mail at no additional charge. Those have become less and less over the years. I've been running my business, my separate business, which is Horizon Research Network, Florida Legal Form, Florida Legal Forms at gmail.com is my email address. My website is for the people of Florida.com. Anyway, what you want to do is be able to um, maximize your efficiency by being able to work virtually. It gives you more time to focus on preparing the documents without having to set up multiple meetings, like an initial meeting and then another meeting where they bring you back their information. And then sometimes people also do a, um, a final meeting where they um, notarize the documents. Now, even if you're a notary, you probably don't want to work virtually, or at least at that part, the notary part. What I do is have my customers use their own notary, um, either one of our members that I can recommend in their area, or else just advise them to go to their bank or their local um, Amscot or UPS store and get their documents um, notarized there. And then I direct my customers as to how to file their documents. I don't do their legal courier work. I know some people do now, but that again, it's it's okay. It's not a um, it, it's not an integral part of doing this business. So people are fine with when you tell them where the courthouse is, where to go, and how to file something. It's not hard, but people are intimidated and they don't know. So you do have to tell them, explain the exact procedure and what to expect as far as the timeline. So those are the, the, the basic mechanics of running a virtual business. And we offer a virtual provider designation. It's, a, it's an upgrade to your membership, costs $30 a year. And what it does for you is it gets you on every single county listing in the member directory except for Miami-Dade. We exclude Miami-Dade because so many of us do family law forms and in Miami-Dade the family law forms are completely different from the rest of the state so it's much easier to be able to be there to actually be in Miami-Dade if you're doing family law documents. 
Um, other than that, even though a lot of people do have bricks and mortar stores, this is another way to expand your reach throughout the state and be able to accept work from anywhere in the state or even, like I say, out of state if their case jurisdiction happens to be Florida. So it's, it's a important upgrade. I think that some people have found it to be a true boost to their business. I know I get inquiries from throughout the state and even when I have someone local, I rarely meet with them because it just takes so much more time. And this is um, more efficient. People are fine with it. When I first started this business model, which was back in 2010, there were some people that were reluctant to pay online. And I still get a few of those. But mostly people are fine with that and even prefer it. It is part of being able to build an immediate rapport with someone on the phone. I'm adept at it myself. I have a, a sales background. So you, but there are techniques that you can teach yourself or learn from us that will help build the trust that you need to be able to, to create in order for people to be comfortable paying you online and paying you in advance. And it does work, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I enjoy my virtual business. It's, it's easy. It's fun. It, I don't spend a lot of extra time traveling or any time traveling because I'm talking to people right from my office. And that is my whole, um, whole business philosophy. Try it. And like I said, even if you ha already have a bricks and mortar store or just dominate your, your locality, that's fine too. But you, you may enjoy also being able to increase your reach and therefore increase your business income. Thank you.